Mr. Chairman, Madam Secretary General, newly elected, Mr. Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, ministers and head of delegations, honorable delegates, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. On behalf of uh, the Comorian delegation, allow me first of all to thank and congratulate the Romanian government for holding this conference and for its warm welcome in these prestigious places. Also, I'll take this opportunity once again to congratulate Mrs. Doreen Bogdan, newly elected Secretary General of the IUT, for the confidence that the member states have just placed in her to lead our organization for the next four years. I wish her success in her new duty. At the same time, I express my sincere thanks and compliments to Mr. Rashid Ismailov for the spirit of competitiveness and for his contribution to the development of the ICT. Likewise, my congratulations go to Mr. Holyo Zaho, outgoing Secretary General of the AIT, for the valuable work accomplished during the last eight years at the head of our organization. Ladies and gentlemen, the current global context has brought a new approach and a radical change in our way of working, of exchanging, and quite simply of existing. We have all witnessed an extraordinary increase of the use of new technology in everyday life before, during, and after the COVID-19 pandemic. We learned some very useful lessons. Today, we are gathered here to reflect together on the issues of meaningful connectivity for all and useful digital transformation in order to promote a more inclusive society at the global level. We are also here to provide our organization with its leaders for the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, in recent years, the Union of Comoros has focused on the development of the telecommunication sector in order to implement the emerging Comoros plan, which has been established ICT as an essential catalyst. This is the vision of the President of the Union of Comoros, His Excellency Azalia Soumani, for an emergence of our country by 2013. On the basis of the Major Comoros Plan, our objective as Ministry of Telecommunication and Digital Economy is to make our countries a privileged player in the digital field for Comorian within the Indian Ocean subregion and for a better integration in the globalized world in which we live. First of all, the challenge we face is as an island country at numerous but surmountable thanks to our combined efforts, the support of uh, development partners and uh, our friendly countries such as you. Ladies and gentlemen, the effective liberalization of the telecommunication sector started six years ago in our countries is beginning to be a fruit with diversification of services and competitive prices for users. These new services require more international connectivities and better coverage. This is how the Comoros have seen the national coverage improve with the 4G and the national fiber optic backbone and soon the connection to a fourth international submarine cable to Africa, which will join those already operational. We are continuing this effort and are in the process of implementing our sector, sectoral policy and being able to express through this forum our vision with regard to the challenge and prospect of a world that is changing under the influence of technological innovation. We have started to restructure the country's digital economics ecosystem. We continue to update regulation in order to support enable technology innovation. Promote free competition and respond to the rapid evolution of the telecommunication in digital sectors. Finally, Madam the newly elected Secretary General, Mr. Secretary General, living better in the digital age represents a huge challenge not only for Union of Comoros but also for all to reduce the digital divide and not further aggravate the development divide between gender, ge 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 geographical location, and professional field. In this context, the International Telecommunication Union plays a key role for a vision of harmonization between countries, so this notion of connectivity for all and digital transformation for sustainable development. Connect and unite is the slogan of this edition, so let's join forces to connect the world and leave no one behind. 
Finally, I hope that this conference will lead to profitable and concrete resolution for all. And as we are witnessing, having a woman at the head of our organization is a very good momentum for change to succeed together under this new female leadership. And I thank you for your kind attention.